Hello! Hey, 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 hey! This is Dora here. How are we doing today? Pretty good? I hope so. Or should I say, pretty well? Uh-huh. Welcome to my math lair. Yeah! This is my place. I live and breathe all numbers. I love math. I hope you love math the way I love math. And we have ourselves a great lesson today. It's a hands-on lesson. We're looking at lesson 6.1. And we have a great topic, which is going to be addition with unlike denominators. Ooh, sounds good. And of course, we have our essential question, our little guiding learning target, if you will. How can you use models to add fractions that have different denominators? Cool. We have investigate. So this is a really a hands on activity. Here we have our little purple hands, hands on. So let's go ahead and state the problem. It says that Hillary is making a tote bag for her friend. She uses one half yard of blue fabric and one quarter yard of red fabric. How much fabric does Hillary use? And when we look at this problem, we always think to ourselves, yes, unpacking, understanding. Now, GoMath does a great job modeling this all the way through. So we'll go ahead and do that. First of all, materials. You're going to see the materials are fraction strips and math and a math board. Take a look at our friend here in the picture. Yeah, see what he's doing? That, my friends, is a math board. Well, let's get back to our problem and look at the first one where it's like step A. It says we will find one half plus one quarter. We're going to begin by placing a half strip and a quarter strip under the whole strip on your math board. And this one's been done for us here in the picture. It says find fraction strips all with the same denominator that are equivalent to one half and one quarter and fit exactly under the sum one half plus one quarter. We're going to record those add-ins using like denominators. Now I know much of this is going to be a review, but it's important. What can make math difficult sometimes if we don't understand the vocabulary, the terminology, we call it. Really important. The denominator is that number that is located under the fraction bar of a fraction. And it lets us know how many equal pieces something's been divided into. The other word is equivalent. And equivalent means it's like the same, equal to. Okay, another word that we use. So to make sure that we understand what we're being asked to do. Well, by, by looking at my picture here, it looks to me as I look at the one half and I look at the one quarter, it looks like to me like two quarters would equal one half. In fact, fours fit in to the fraction of one half because four is a multiple of two if we were to count by twos and that's why they fit. Let me check it out. There's one quarter. Look at that. Yes, I would say that fits pretty close based on my tiles. Shows it two quarters then is equal to one half. And then, of course, I have this quarter and I can bring this quarter right on down. Now I can show that I three quarters here and that's my answer. But let's go ahead and write the two quarters then plus one quarter. Record the sum in the simplest form, which in this case would be three quarters. So Hillary uses three quarters yard of fabric. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. That was kind of fun, huh? I think it was. And it's important that we understand that that was the key of making that like denominators. If you think about what other fraction strips might, you know, fit into that same denominator, um, one, one, one half and one quarter. Maybe some of you are thinking, yeah, eighths would fit in there because eight, again, two is a multiple of two and four. And twelfths will also work because twelve is a multiple of two, four. Okay, let's look at draw conclusions. This is describe how you would determine what fraction strips all with the same denominator would fit exactly under one half plus one third. And what are they? Based on the question, I think what I would do is I would first, I, I can see that one half plus one third does not have the same denominator. So I would then maybe I would try a fourth if I was going to, I would try to do the largest fraction strips that I have and the fourth would be the next in line. 
And since four, when you think of fourths and you think of thirds, well, so I think maybe next I would look at fourths and fourths. If it doesn't fit, then I would go into um, fifths and then sixths. So I would start with the larger strips first, but then I would work my way down to the smaller strips until I could find a denominator whose strips will fit exactly. Okay, and in this case, I would have five one six strips would fit. Okay, there you go. So now it says mathematical practice five says use concrete models. Explain the difference between finding fraction strips with the same denominator for one half plus one third and one half plus one quarter. Well, I don't know. I think what they're asking here is explain the difference between finding fraction strips with the same denominator. Um, if you were to take one half and one quarter, which is what we had in the problem above, the one quarter fraction strips that fit exactly for that addition uh, problem um, have the same denominator as the one that's given there, which is the one quarter, because one quarter plus one quarter plus one quarter. The one half plus one third, there you don't have a half or a third. We had to have a whole new denominator. So in that case, the one fifth, one sixth fractions uh, strips that fit exactly didn't have one of the fractions listed. It wasn't one half or one third. So let me write that idea down. Okay, that's the best I could describe that one there, that the difference between uh, those two expressions they gave us, one half plus one third and one half plus one fourth. And the only difference was that in that very problem, like up above, we used the one quarter and the other one we did not. Okay. Okay, page master. Yeah. All right. Woo, it's time to make connections. We got a little hands on. Purple hands. Sometimes the sum of two fractions is greater than one. When adding fractions with unlike denominators, you can use the whole one whole strip to help determine if a sum is greater than one or less than one. This is we can use fraction strips to solve. We have the expression three fifths plus one half. So step one says work with another student. OK, I won't be able to do that, but I'll be working solo. Place three one fifth fraction strips under the one whole strip on your math board, then place a half fraction strip beside the three one fifth strips. All right, I'm going to go ahead and follow that. I'm going to take my one whole strip right here and I'm going to get three fifths. So I'm going to grab one. Here's number two, three, and then I'm going to grab my one half. Now by looking at that, I can see immediately that it looks like three fifths plus one half is going to be greater than one whole. Now step two says find fraction strips all with the same denominator that are equivalent to three fifths and one half. Place the fraction strips under the sum. At the right, draw a picture of the model and write the equivalent fractions. I think what I will do is I will just put my fraction strips underneath the actual model that we're using right now. So let's take a look. Now I have the different fraction strips up there and I'm trying to find ones that fit that exactly. Now if I were to start off with doing fifths, let's just say I want to start with the larger ones and I would want to place because I'm trying to find one that's going to be equal. That's not going to work. You see my two fifths, it's smaller than one half and that's not going to allow me to make. So I won't be using fifths to solve my problem. Maybe I want to come over to the next largest ones. Would quarters work? Well, quarters would work if I put them under one half, but I wouldn't be able to get quarters to work here because three fifths is larger than one and a half. So that won't work. Now, if I came with eighths, I do know that eight is a multiple of two. So that would work. However, five is, um, Eight is not a multiple of five, so the, so the ace aren't going to work. Now I'm starting to see a pattern as I'm looking for like denominators. Now 10, if I were to use tenths, 10 is a multiple of two and also a five. I wonder if that's actually going to work. If I were to take my one tenths and start lining it up, let's see if I can get that to equal all these fifths here. Now that I look at it, I can see yes, three fifths together does equal it looks like I have six tenths. And I know that if I were to take the tenths, let's check the other one over here. As we check one half, it looks like five will work and it does. So I found my denominator. And interestingly, like we learned in this particular lesson, 
is that this like denominator of 10 works because, yeah, 10 is a multiple of 2 and 10 is a multiple of 5. If we count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and then we have 5, we just go 5, 10, that works. So let's finish up what we needed to do. We placed the fraction strips under the sum. Okay, at the right, we didn't draw a picture. Our picture is showing the 1 tenths underneath our model. But it does say to write the equivalent fractions. Let's do that. So 3 fifths we learned was equal to 6 tenths listed here. Okay, and then 1 half was equal to 5 tenths. And those were the remaining ones here. Step 3, add the fractions with like denominators. Now we have the same denominator. Use the one whole strip to rename the sum in simplest form. So we have 3 fifths plus 1 half. So we'll rewrite these fractions down. 6 tenths plus 5 tenths is equal to 11 tenths or that makes one whole because our 10 tenths makes a whole and then we have one tenth left over and that's true 10 tenths plus 1 tenth is 11 tenths woohoo yeah yeah okay oh i'm just loving this it says what's this here it says think how many fraction strips with the same denominator are equal to one whole we kind of thought that out already so let's move on down now we have it says in what step did you find out that the answer is greater than one explain try to remember when we noticed that probably probably as early as step one right right at the top because when we lined up all our strips our three one-fifth strips and our one half we noticed right away that it was larger than one whole and i think i already mentioned that cool all right now it's time for sharon show time for the old math board we're going to use fraction strips to find the sum and then you're going to write your answer in simplest form a great opportunity for you guys to go ahead and put the video on pause that's right give it a break just hit the old pause button and then work those problems out and then when you're ready just hit play okay sounds good to me all right one well, problem one it does show our our fraction strips we have that one whole strip and then we have the other fraction strips listed. And it says 1 half plus 3 eighths. Now keep in mind, I remember that this multiple is playing a role in finding a like denominator. Now 8 is a multiple of 2 because 2, 4, 6, 8. So I'm wondering if eighths might not fit for the 1 half. And I'm going to take my eighths and see if that's true. See, there's 1, here's 2, here's 3, and there's 4. Yeah, they look pretty mixed half. So 1 half plus 3 eighths then. So I would have 4 eighths for my 1 half listed here. And then I have another 3 eighths. Well, 4 plus 3. Now I have the like denominator. I can just say, yeah, that's equal to 7 eighths. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, this is so much fun. Yes, yes, yes. And what do we have here in question number 2? We have that half again. And now we have 2 fifths. I seem to remember that it's how 10... That's a multiple of 5, and 10 is also a multiple of 2, because 5, 10, and then 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So I'm going to see if that doesn't work for this here. I don't know. What do you think? I think we have ourselves a match. Let's do the same thing for the fifths. Is that beautiful? Or is that gorgeous? Yeah, I like it. Now, my half, I remember I had 5 tenths, and 2 fifths, that was going to be 4 tenths. How nice is that? Equal to 9 tenths because 5 plus 4 is 9. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. This, it's the, it's the end? Really? Wait, I'm, I'm okay. Oh my goodness, this math just, each video goes by so fast, my friends. Well, you know what? I'm so happy to have had you here in this great hands-on activity as we explored addition with unlike denominators. Now, my friends, live long and prosper. <laughs>